How are you going everyone? Before I get to today's topic of putting nitrous on a stock barrow, I'd just like to address a few things about this particular car. Now I got a dirt cheap, purely for drag racing, I don't drive it every day, and um, it's got 327,000 Ks on the stock NA motor. So suggestions I got like uh, putting camshafts in it and getting a tune. Um, I'm not going to open this motor unless it opens itself or, you know, I rebuild it. Probably won't rebuild this motor. I'm more likely to go for a gassy, like a green top, build that and drop it in when I go boost later on down the track, but that's not for now. So I thought I'd like to point that out. Now, the other thing is too, prices. Um, someone said about, you know, by the time you did the diff and PCM tech and all that, you'd be better off buying an XR6 Turbo Falcon and going from there. Hmm, I disagree. Um, for one, that would be no fun. And number two, basically, I, I had a look around on the marketplace and the XR6 Turbos I saw under 10 gram were pretty much junkers, um, or high kilometers. So if you bought one of them, you're probably gonna have to rebuild the motor anyway. And they all had seem to have problems. And if you buy a BA Turbo XR6 Falcon, you're gonna get the one with the skinny rods anyway. So what's the point in that? It's got skinny rods already. So I don't see the point in doing that. But um, the other thing was talking about prices. Fair call, I do need to mention some prices in here. My prices may be a bit skewed to what you can do, but here goes. 389 diff set. Now, problem is I have these laying around because I collected a lot of these in the past. They came out of R31 Skylines and the Pintara of the same body. So I have these laying around. That cost me zero dollars. But bearing seals, oil, 350 bucks. Rebuild it myself, no problem. Now, oh, plus the mini spool, that was 90 bucks, I think, for the mini spool off eBay. Tatrix cable, $339. Bought it off TR Performance. I need it to tune this car, so it's a tool. Okay, PCM Tech, 330 bucks. That includes tuning credits, so that unlocks your ECU, so that you can play with it and adjust things. Yet again, I see this as a tool. So all up, that was $1,019. Got me to 15.1 quarter mile. And I did that twice, so I call that repeatable. And as I mentioned, I was going for nitrous next. Now, a basic nitrous kit that I bought was $1,161. That was with a $100 voucher thing I got through eBay. That's for a sniper kit. The jets that are supplied um, up to 75 horsepower, which is 56 kilowatts or thereabouts. So that's not a bad start. Walbro, 460 litre per hour, $166. Cheap insurance. I wouldn't push it with the pump that was in it. Nitrous Express Purge Kit, $219. Now, you don't need the purge kit, but I like to have it because I like to clear the lines before I actually spray it on the quarter mile or eighth mile. It's a nice thing to have. Zex Pressure Gauge. I like to monitor the pressure of the bottle. That's a good idea. Sundries, $25. Now I did buy some brass fittings to the, especially the Nitrous Express Purge Kit. The T piece that was supplied with it was an absolute piece of shit and it leaked. I went to my local uh, engineering supply shop. I bought a T piece for $3 that worked, doesn't leak, perfect, spot on. But this other thing that I got with the Nitrous Express Kit leaked like a sieve. So it's in the bin. So. All up, that was $1,659 for your hardware. This price may vary as you're uh, filling up your 10 pound nitrous bottle. Cost me $180. I don't live in a major city, I live in Tamworth. I'm five hours from Sydney. There's one guy in town here that fills nitrous bottles, so that's what I paid to get it filled. I don't think that's too bad. And if my calculations are correct, with the 75 horsepower shot nozzles, that means I should be able to hold the button down for about two and a half minutes before I empty that bottle. So not bad value, I say. But all up, if you take in the diff and the nitrous kit, not putting in the fill or anything like that, you're looking at about $2,678. That's worth of what I've done to the car. Um, I'm hoping that should probably push me into a low 14 or a high 13, all depending, but time will tell. Won't know until I'm actually at the strip. But anyway, I'll get on to the rest of the kit now. Right, yeah, getting on to the actual nitrous kit itself. Sorry I waited so long. Here it is in the back of the wagon. 
Now you might think that looks a bit funny there too. Because the nitrous bottle is in the passenger's compartment under Andra regulations, you need to be able to vent it outside the car should the bottle over pressure. So I've got a safety valve in here that actually was $136. I didn't mention that on um, Rocket on their website. And uh, this piece of 3.8 copper tube, they call this a blowdown tube, goes under the car. So if this bottle over pressures, it ruptures this little safety valve thing here and it can dump the pressure outside. It's a safety thing so the nitrous doesn't fill the cabin and gas you because no, you cannot sit here and sniff this stuff. It is not good for you. It is not medical grade nitrous oxide. And there's the line going to it. Now, these pieces here, oh, hand. these pieces here are not included in the kit. The braided line is, but I mentioned the nitrous gauge. That's uh, an extra. These brass pieces are all extra, it's just a T piece. Uh, I just like to monitor things like <laughs> pressure of nitrous. And obviously, here we go, we'll uncrack the valve. And we're armed. Now we'll go up into the car. Excuse my fat fingers. Oh, they're all over the place. And as per Andrew regulations, you know, you can't arm your nitrous unless your ignition's on. So we go to reds. That tells you there's power to the switch. Big blue light is arming the switch. And the purge that everybody loves. That's how that works. Now I've actually put my go button over here so I can press that and I'm not going to press it now because then it fills my manifold with nitrous oxide and I'm not going to do that while the car's sitting stationary and not on. The other thing you need to rig up, I'll just turn all this stuff off. I don't know if you'll see it very well. There's a micro switch under the pedal, behind the pedal. It's basically so I can't spray the car unless I'm at wide open throttle. That's a good idea anyway. It's a good safety feature to have. Um, there's my wire for my bottle warmer when I get around to getting one. Seems to be a hard thing to find. Anyone that's stocking them these days, they seem to be in short supply. Now for the setup. It ain't pretty, but it's the best I could do without modifying the intake because, like I said previously, I'm trying not to change too much with this car. I'm still retaining the standard exhaust and the standard intake on it. So. Your little instruction manual says that you to have the fogger no nozzle 6 to 12 inches away from the throttle butterfly so that was the best I could do and also not to have the nozzle in any major bend which kind of sucks for the barrow because that's, the intake is all bends so it's hard to tell on the video but I have got this skewed a little bit so it is actually firing at the throttle, throttle butterfly I was just making the best of a bad situation and there's your fuel line to your solenoid. It goes down, there's a T-piece under the car where I've tapped in for the fuel. There's your nitrous solenoid, there's your purge solenoid. My wiring. You've got to run a wire to your battery to uh, control your relay for your nitrous. But um, yeah, that's wasn't too hard to put in. Just, uh, you know, the little intake silencer thing, I guess you call it, that sits on these standard air intake pipes, I just cut it off. That's an aluminium plate sitting there being bolted in and sealed up so that uh, nitrous doesn't escape and set my engine bay on fire. But basically, that's, uh, that's how we do it. Um, hopefully I should be able to post some results, another video. I'm going drag racing again in about a month's time out at Gunnedar Airport, and uh, that's only eighth mile, but that compared to my times at uh, Sydney should give us a rough idea of how how much further this nitrous kit has actually pushed this car. Hoping, hoping to see some good numbers and I hope I don't blow the motor up just yet. I'm actually contemplating whether to uh, change out the 75 horsepower jets for 100s because I have tested this on my secret test track and <laughs> it, it's very, very noticeable. Uh, when you press that button, it does, does make a change um, more than any exhaust system or cold air intake will ever do. Um, so I find that it's money well spent. Um, I, I'm always happy when I spend money on a car and it actually 
does what's advertised. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, keep modifying those barras.